evening and happy Hanukkah. May the love and light of this season fill you with joy and warm your heart. Today, I would like to share with you one of the great lights of the Roman world. Her name was Hypatia of Alexandria. She was the greatest philosopher, astronomer, and teacher of the late Roman Empire. Now, when most people celebrate Hypatia's life, they focus on the fact that she was a woman, as if her accomplishments mean more because she was not a man. In her lifetime and within Alexandria's intellectual community, Hypatia's sex was not the issue that it became after her murder on the 15th of March, 415 CE. Where Hypatia's sex comes into play is the realm of politics, which was a man's domain, where women simply be wanted. Alexandria in the late 4th and 5th centuries was divided among three ethnic religious factions, Greeks, Jews, and Christians, with the Roman government caught in a balancing act among them. The Christians in Alexandria at this time were under the control of the Patriarch of Alexandria, an Eastern Orthodox Pope-like figure. In her lifetime, this office was held first by Theophilus, who was then succeeded by his nephew Cyril in 412 CE. Both men used Christianity to seize political power for themselves, and they did it at the expense of Alexandria's ancient Jewish community. Hypatia was very much a part of this Jewish community, where her status as a great intellectual and teacher made her a critical ally to Jews of all ranks. As the patriarchs attacked Jewish life and civil liberties across the city, Hypatia pursued justice for the Jews with the Roman authorities. In my new biography, Hypatia of Alexandria, I showcase Hypatia's great love and respect for Alexandrian Jewry through a lifelong friendship she had with a young woman I named Rachel Batleva. When Theophilus's followers go on a murder rampage across the Jewish quarter during Hanukkah, Hypatia shelters survivors, including Rachel, putting her own life at risk for her Jewish friends. Therefore, is Hypatia's entang entanglements in politics, not her sex, is the primary reason why Patriarch Cyril ordered her murder. In going to the Roman governor on behalf of Jews, she made herself the enemy of those determined to exterminate their Jewish race from the face of the earth. And so as you light your menorahs and celebrate the Festival of Lights, remember Patia, not only as a gifted Greek philosopher and scientist, but as someone who risked her life to help her Jewish sisters and brothers. Happy Hanukkah.